I am getting ready to go to... Yes, I'm leaving, I'm sorry. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you wanna build a beautiful online presence to run your business from, Squarespace is the place for you. They've got marketing tools, analytics, and so much more. Stay tuned to hear about it. Hey friends, I am just chilling, having a cup of tea in my golden state of mind mug that my bestie Brayden got me. I don't know what tea it is from David's Tea, pretty much all the teas I drink are. I just wanted to pack with you guys. So I am getting ready to leave for guide dog training in a few weeks um, and I am trying to force myself to pack ahead of time because the next few weeks of my life are insane. Um, the demolition on my condo starts, I have to make all my final decisions on all of my finishings and appliances, videos to come. I am obviously like going away for a few weeks, training. I just have a lot happening. Gallop's moving out, which is obviously emotional. This is like packing to go to guide dog training for me right now is like very bittersweet. It's like the sweetness of like getting a new guide dog and, and the bitterness of like, that means the, the chapter with Gallop is truly like the door is shut and locked. It's done, it's gone, it's over. And that's hard for me. So I thought maybe if Can I pack- just show Gallop? There's Gallop, hanging out. I actually just ordered my new guide dog a bed today. In case anyone's wondering, I always get Bowser beds and the donut kind. I got it for Gypsy, for Gallup, and now new pupper will have one. I've gotten so many people hooked on Bowser beds. They literally last for like 10 plus years. Like they are so high quality and the dogs are just obsessed with them. Like both I think Gypsy- they go from dog to dog. Oh, for sure. Well, but we just got different ones for each dog, but. Well, and Gallup has to keep his stuff. Yeah, Gallup has to keep his stuff. His, you'll see that when he moves out. I'll do a video of his move out day, but they're just really great beds. Highly recommend. If, you, if your dog doesn't like dog beds. Oops, who's that? Is that Missy Moosey? It's Missy Moosey. Hello. She wants to get in on the action. Anyways, I ordered that today. Like it's sinking in, it's real. I'm starting to get ready for, for reals. So I know a lot of you guys are guide dog users, service dog users, and uh, or wanting to get one and maybe this might help you prep, of, like give you ideas or tips of what to pack if you're going away to training. I know some people do at-home training, but there's also plenty of people like me who do in-facility training. Um, so if you're going away to a service dog training facility and you're curious of some things that are good to pack, I want to share with you because this is my third time, you know, I've done this twice before. My first time I was there for one month. My second time I was there for three weeks. This time they're telling me I'm going to be there for two weeks. That seems optimistic to me, but we will see. I'm excited if it's only two weeks, but I'm like keeping an open mind that if something doesn't go well and we have to switch dogs. Like I might have to stay longer, so we'll see. But um, obviously because I've done it multiple times, I've figured out things that are really helpful to bring. So let's talk about it. Ooh, I got a text. Um, I'm going for a workout soon. Getting into my fitness game again. Getting the heart rate pumping. So I'm in my workout clothes. But okay, so first, just blind girl packing hack, packing cubes. These are pastel yellow, we love. Um, and they are just from Amazon. I'm not sure the brand name, but I'll link them below. Um, they're really great. Love these. These help me keep organized. So I love to always use some kind of like a packing cube for organization and different things will go in different bags. And then I also, hello. excuse me, I'm trying hello. to film. A little bit loud here. I'm trying to film here. How Silence. rude. Silence. Of me to not put my phone on silent. <laughs> I'll also always leave one as a laundry bag. So what I'll do is like underwear, socks, things that like truly need to be washed after one wear, I put them into a laundry bag. I don't wash all my clothes after one wear. Maybe that's gross to some people, but like I don't wash my jeans every time I wear them. They can go a few, few wears, you know? But every time something is ready to be washed, I put it all into the big laundry bag and that way I don't accidentally grab something and rewear it. Another blind girl packing hack, packing hack, pack hack that I love and utilize as a frequent traveler is packing in outfits. So like pre-planning my outfits and packing like the pants and the top that I wanna wear together. Or like pants, top, sweater that all go together in one pile together so that everything is like truly, I can just grab an outfit when I'm unpacking. Some really important things in my opinion to bring to service dog training. 
comfortable sneakers, you are gonna be walking a lot. You're having six to eight hour days of walking on your feet on all sorts of different terrain. These are from Madewell. They're honestly very comfortable, but I'm gonna bring a couple different types of sneakers just because in case one ends up giving me a blister, um, something like that, I have different options. So sneakers that are walk like comfortable walking sneakers, really important. Snacks. I mean, Mira like has plenty of food. They cook all your meals or sometimes you eat out if you're like on a long training day. Um, but I like to have snacks. Like I like to be able to eat if and when I want to be able to eat. And I also like, especially if you're going for a very long time, I like being able to eat things that are comforting to me and that like remind me of home. Um, so bringing like protein bars or any kind of snack of your choosing. I really like goldfish crackers, things like that, that are just, you know, you can keep in your room or in your backpack when you're out training. Um, that's a big, big yes for me. A reusable water bottle. Again, you're going out on long days out training. Super important to stay hydrated fuel yourself so always bringing a reusable water bottle is a big yes from me a fanny pack really important in my like i literally went out to buy fanny packs for training this is one of the only things that i specifically went out to purchase when i got my training dates this one is from lululemon it's 40 bucks so really affordable compared to a lot of other ones out there i originally bought a leather one which i still have and i will bring because it's adorable and i love it but honestly, this one's better. It's way less expensive and it's wipeable, which you're gonna be getting, you know, dog slobber and stuff like that on you. And so having like a wipeable one is really nice. This one's also black, so it'll hide all the dirt. Although I do have like two other ones. I have a white one and a multicolored one. So I'll probably bring all of them. So you know me, I can match all my outfits, but having this is really great for the things you're gonna need to grab quickly and often. The biggest thing for me is treats. Um, when you're doing training, you're often using treats, treat rewards. Um, every school is different. There's old school training and new school training, and then there's a hybrid. Mira does a hybrid of old school and new school. So the quote, new school method that they use, one of them is treat rewards. So I'm gonna want kibble that's like at the ready for me to quickly and easily grab, which is another reason it's nice that this is like wipeable because it's gonna have like kibble in it, you know, which is grimy. So kibble, uh, poop bags, and hand sanitizer. This is the other thing I went out specifically to purchase. My mom actually went and grabbed it for me and she did not disappoint. She brought back plenty. When, she, when I told her I needed hand sanitizer, she took me seriously. Um, I really like the bath and uh, uh, the body shop ones. They just smell really good. And I usually don't use fragranced hand sanitizers very often, but again, you're touching dog. You're touching dog food, you're getting dog slobber on your hands, you're, you know, picking up, poop. picking up poop, you're touching a lot of dogs because at least at the Mira Foundation, they don't pre-match. So I'm actually gonna be working multiple different dogs, which means I'm touching lots of different dogs. And these dogs have ultimately been living in a kennel. So they're a little stinky. They do get bathed like they get a grooming before you bring them home. At first they're all like kind of stinky a little bit, not gonna lie. So um, hand sanitizer that's nicely scented is nice to have. So in my fanny pack, I'll be keeping one of these. I think you got mango and coconut? Mango and coconut. Um, so I'll be keeping one of these kibble and like a poop bag. That's basically all that's gonna be in my fanny pack. The things that I wanna grab quickly and easily on the go at short notice. Um, and then, my snack, my water bottle, more poop bags, cause I'll probably just keep one in here, but like a roll of poop bags, all of that stuff. Um, my phone, my wallet, lip balm, just stuff like that is going to be in a mini backpack. I have, I have two that I've had for a long time, so I'll just bring one of those. So I'll have my backpack on my back, just a mini light one, and then my fanny pack with my important things. And those are really some of the things that are top of mind to me. Now, you each school is going to be different. Like, I don't have to bring my own poop bags and kibble. They have the poop bags and kibble at Mira. But I probably will bring some of my own poop bags anyways. Why not? I'm a dog mom. I have them already anyways. But yeah, so let's head to the closet and try to figure out what I'm going to bring. It's weird. September is a weird month, right? Because it can be freezing or it can be really hot. And because I'm trying to pack early, I can't really like look at the forecast yet. So we're gonna do our best, but let's... Okay, I think I'm just gonna like 
feel around my closet and just kind of like dump a bunch of stuff on the ground that I think will be good for training. I want to bring things that are just super comfortable. That's the goal because again like it's really long days and it's exhausting and it's stressful. So I just want to wear stuff that I don't even have to think about. So I would recommend like athletic clothes, athleisure clothes, leggings, that kind of thing, sweatpants even. I'm gonna bring this. I feel like this is a good like fall sweater. And you guys know I'm really hoping I get a doggy with like the burner coloring, which is like that rusty orangey brown. So I feel like if I did, we just look so cute together. I'm trying to manifest a boy, a male dog into my life. So if we could all put that image out there for me, that would be great. What else? Oh, other things that I always like to bring are just touches of home. Because again, like, especially if you're away for a month, that's a really long time to be away from home. I'm a homebody, which is funny because I've spent so many years of my life on the road, but I actually love being at home. So I bring things like candles because it brings like a scent of being at home or different teas that I like to drink in the evening, hot water bottle, stuffed animal. Yes, I'm 27 and I sleep with stuffed animals. Feel free to judge me. I don't really care. I'm gonna keep being me. Oh, I think this would be good. Yep. Long sleeve waffle, pastel pink, adorable. It's so funny. I like just transitioned my closet over to like summer clothes. <laughs> it feels like we really did that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I love this so much. She's coming for sure. So cozy. It's the um, pastel gray and white zebra stripe top, the sweater. You guys always love that when I wear it too. It's from Aritzia last year. That's good. Oh yeah, this one goes yeah. with the pants. It does, yeah. yeah. This will be super good. I have matching pants for this. I'm definitely gonna so bring this. Lav also. Lavender hair? Oh, it was lavender hair. Oh, you know me, hair. my whole life. Surrounded by fur. Yeah, it's, ugh, like I said, it's so hard because it's like that in between. I'm gonna bring some jackets. I'm not gonna bring any like jeans but I'm definitely gonna bring some of my like softer flowy pants that are super comfy well definitely bringing plenty of leggings oh I'm definitely gonna bring crocs that's for damn sure you guys know I stand my crocs hard I think I'm gonna bring this sweatsuit nice what do you think yeah okay this is a good sweater it's a great one it's perfect in case because it's it's a light sweater because I don't want to just bring thick sweaters all right, I'm gonna keep pulling stuff. Oh, also, another packing hack. I always have my skincare and makeup pre-packed. Obviously, this isn't something that's gonna be feasible for everybody, but I really like having everything pre-packed, particularly pre-COVID. Your girl was packing multiple times a week. Um, and so it was just getting to be too much to pack my makeup and my skincare and my hair care every time I would go travel. And my dad had this idea to just always have a makeup bag pre-packed, a skincare bag pre-packed, and a hair care bag pre-packed. So that was a good tip. Also, I'm definitely bringing my Dyson Air Wrap with me. That's my favorite hair tool. It's the only hair tool I use anymore. Um, so in here I have like a razor, toothpaste, Oops. What are you doing? It's clean. What are you doing over there? Clean. Um, toothbrush. I have a mini native deodorant. Look how stinking cute. It's a baby. Delightful. Love that. This isn't sponsored by Native, but I do have a code. It's Molly B. Um, and you get 33% off. So check that out. But yeah, I just have like a bunch of skincare. I have like tampons, pads, um, floss, like lip balm, everything I could possibly need. I always have pre-packed. So that makes it super easy for packing my guide dog training stuff. It's just all done. So I will just toss these into my suitcase. I think I'll have to go into my stored fall clothes and grab some things. All right. I kind of feel like I'm like a pregnant mom. You know, I'm in, I'm in like my, I'm having my third baby or actually my fourth, Gypsy, Gallop, Lavender. I'm having baby number four. So I'm like seasoned. I've been through this a few times, but I still have, I'm like, I'm at the end of my third trimester. And um, it's like, I want a boy with burner markings, but like, I'll love it if it's a girl without, you know what I mean? Um, but anyways, I am definitely packing burner markings in mind. I'm picking anything in my closet that I think would look cute with a burner markings. Um, so we have this outfit and we have these Madewell pants. This outfit I'm packing because it just feels appropriate. This is one of my two blind brothers outfits. I talked about them in this video I did reviewing disability owned businesses. And, you know, it seems appropriate to have my two blind brothers outfit with me. And it's just super comfy too. Um, and it's like one of those outfits that's lightweight and warm. 
I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to pick. Things that like could work if it's hot out or if it's cool out. I will be posting a ton of training content, a whole little mini series here on my channel about getting my guide dog. Those videos will be up next month in October, so make sure you have your notification bell turned on so you're notified when those videos do get dropped because it'll be some very exciting content. But if you would like sneak peeks and kind of behind the scenes info um, and to learn about training and the guide dog and all that kind of stuff before I release the series here on YouTube, then you can find that type of stuff over on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Molly Burke. And definitely make sure to follow at Molly's Guide Dogs on Instagram for some other content. But yeah. I feel like I've pulled some good stuff here. It's like, it's not too much, but it's also enough. I'm probably gonna pull a few more shoes and stuff. I'm not trying to get all my packing done today. I'm just trying to get like the beginning, you know? I'm trying to get it underway, get the ball rolling. So that's what I've pulled for now. I'll update you in a bit. Okay, for PJs, I grabbed my Tommy John ones. Um, it, it's hot. And then <laughs> my Me Undies doggy onesie in case it's cold. Um, and I'm definitely gonna bring these slippers that I'm wearing just to walk around the dorms. I literally feel like, okay, right now I feel like everybody's doing like back to school, off to college packing, and I'm like off to guide dog training packing. Um, this is my college. I'm literally gonna be living in a dorm. So packing my slippers for walking around the dorm. I wear them all the time at home so I don't stub my toes on anything. And that's in a familiar environment. So in an unfamiliar, unfamiliar environment, you best believe I'm gonna have these on my feet. Crocs are also a good option as like indoor slippers. So I'll have both as an option. They do have laundry machines there. So I'm probably not gonna bring all the stuff I pulled out. This was just the initial and then I'm gonna probably put a few things back um, cause we can do laundry while we're there, which is nice. Also, apparently they've just like renovated the dorms a bit recently. So I'm really excited because They've had the same facility for a really, really, really long time. So I'm excited to see what like updates and changes they've made to it. In the past, I was able to drive to the school. I lived like six or eight hours away. So I took a train one year and I, my parents drove me there when I went to get Gallup. So those years I like brought all my own bedding. Again, I'm a homebody. So just like, because I could, I did um, bring all my own bedding and pillows and stuff because it just made me feel more at home. But obviously because I'm flying there, I'm not about to pack up all my own bedding. So it'll be interesting. We'll see, we'll see what the new facility's like. I'll do a whole tour. All right, I have my suitcase here. It is the pink away suitcase. Now it has a crack in it, so I'm gonna have to contact them. I purchased this, like they didn't send this to me. I love away luggage. I really like to get luggage that's just colored or patterned. I've chewed through luggage historically. Over the years that I've been traveling for work, I've had like four different sets of luggage because I just destroy them because I travel so often. So this one is cracked, but I like to get a just a unique color or a unique pattern. So I've had butterflies, had a bunch of like funny symbols all over it, different colors, um, because if I'm traveling alone, I can say to somebody at the airport, my luggage is the one that has butterflies on it, or my luggage is zebra striped, or my luggage is the pink one. Um, Away is pretty popular, but even then, um, what I do is get my monogram printed onto it, which is something they offer. So then if there's two pink suitcases, I can just say, you know, mine has MJB on it. So that's what I like to do in terms of like finding my luggage when I'm traveling. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through and kind of like I took a few uh, outfits out So I'm definitely like set with my outfits pretty much. I'm good if it's like not too hot and not too cold So hopefully that's the weather um, But I'm gonna go through and kind of pack fold in outfits. So again, I have like These gray pants that match this gray top that goes with this gray and white sweater Like this is a full outfit that I wear with like a pair of white sneakers or my black and white bands So I'm just gonna fold this together and so on and so forth. I'm a hot water bottle. It's so fluffy and I love it. I just fill it with like hot water from a kettle. Um, I use it when I have cramps and I just find it generally comforting. So I'm definitely bringing that. Then um, this is the mini backpack that I'm gonna wear. So it'll be this combo probably every day. And um, I'm probably just gonna use these as my carry-ons. So when I'm traveling through the airport in my fanny pack, I'll have like my passport, flight tickets, all that kind of stuff. And then in here I'll have like my headphones, all of that kind of jazz. I'll also have my air tags in these, which makes it easier for me to find when I'm like at Mira or at the airport if I put it down or anything. So yeah, 
air tags another blind girl must have all right i have got to run to the gym but i feel really happy with what i've gotten done so far today and i'm gonna finish this another day and i will show you how everything turned out on said day so i'll see you in a bit Ooh, okay you guys it has been a few days Packing has slowly continued. I am really happy I've done it this way where I'm just kind of like slowly grabbing things and packing them because it makes it much less stressful and overwhelming and last minute. Lavender, what are you doing? Excuse me, ma'am. Um, anyways, it's been much less stressful that way. So the other day I grabbed like socks, underwear, period products. Um, what else did I grab? You know, Advil, just random things like that that I think I'll end up needing. Mira also sent a packing list, so obviously like every guide dog school is going to be different in terms of what you need to bring. They have all the bedding and stuff there, but I do have to bring my own towels, so I'm going to um, pack my own towels. And they also sent something that was really cool that, like, I don't know if I just missed this in the past or what, but they did send stuff like a pre preparing to bring puppy home list, and that included stuff for a dog first aid kit. And this is really cool because a lot of medications for dogs are very expensive, but there is like human alternatives that vets just usually don't tell you about. And so they sent a whole list of things. Pupper first aid kit. This is just like a normal first aid kit. Um, and then we took out what doggy wouldn't need and put in a few things that he would, as well as kept whatever he did need in here. So it includes like tweezers, gauze. Um, but some of the things they said to get to use is polysporin. You can use polysporin eye drops on your dog and you can also use this girl. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she's making all sorts of funny sounds. You can also use polysporin um, cream on a dog that gets a hot spot. Gallup was very prone to hot spots. Um, who knows what the next dog will bring, but now I know for the rest of his life, I can use polysporin and I have it here in case my next one deals with that as well. I grabbed baby wipes. Um, so I'm gonna bring this with me. They have a vet on campus, like they have a full veterinary clinic on campus where they treat all the dogs in their um, like training years. So I probably won't need it, but I want to bring it anyways because I'm excited. These little nail clippers. Yes, um, puppy nail clippers. Um, There's a few things we didn't get. The Benadryl, which I have to pick up again. Oh yes, Benadryl. Gallup used Benadryl a few times um, when he would get these weird sneezing fits um and so we can use benadryl so we're gonna pick up benadryl to add to the pupper first aid kit good old ear wash and ear wipes ear wipes Ooh. and and this is peroxide okay so yeah that's the stuff that they recommended every guide dog school like i said is gonna have a different list of things they recommend you get it's so, so interesting like looking at different schools and different types of service dogs and like how they do it in different countries you know, it just differs everywhere you go, which is why it's so important to find a facility that's that's right for you. So it's even just interesting seeing different harnesses. Like every school has, of course, their own unique harness. Um, they all attach differently. They all buckle differently. The, the handles are all shaped differently. Even the way you stand beside your dog differs school to school. So, um, and like what commands they train them to use and whether they do, you know, what kind of reward training they use. So it's just super interesting and I'm really excited to take you guys on my guide dog journey with my guide dog series that I'm gonna be coming out with. So definitely make sure you're ready for that. I hope you're all very, very excited. I know I am. I also have this thing over here that I wanna show you guys that I'm bringing for them. I wanted to bring everybody at Mira a gift and gift, gift giving is my love language. So I was trying to figure out like what gifts I could get everybody, but then I found this at Dwell Living and fell in love and I was like yeah she I need I need him is he in frame yes he's a big big dog this is my is gorgeous big metal black Labrador looks very gallop like it has like it's you know four paws it's super lightweight and it has a little tail um and I thought it was just too perfect it was now we can see him better he was quite pricey uh, but so worth it. So instead of getting each of them individual gifts, I figured I would get this for the campus and they could, you know, have it in their main office or whatever. Oh. They could tie like a mirror. Lavender's big... right in there. Look. Oh, she's like, where is Ooh. she? Have you not seen him around? Ooh. <laughs> Did she just try to jump on the chair? <laughs> yep. That's like, oh, there she is. There we go. What is she doing? She's uh, examining the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my house. 
So I thought they could put like a mirror bandana on him in their front room. I just think it'll be super cute. So I'm so happy I found this. But we are now having to figure out how the heck we're gonna bring this beast with us. Excuse me! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Miss, oh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Okay, Lavender, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be hard to give up because I love him. Oh, he's so cool. Anyways, um, so we have to figure out how to ship that because it's not gonna fit in our suitcase. So we're gonna have to figure out how to ship that and I think I'm gonna bring it to them with like a YouTube bandana on it. We'll, we'll show you in the series where they end up putting it in the facility. But yeah, I'm super excited. So really that's kind of everything that I'm packing. Oh, I'm also packing. I wish I had it here with me. Frankly, Lord knows where it is right now. My life is an utter mess and chaotic. So we will find it before we leave, but we bought this like drinking water refillable thing for dogs so that way when I'm out for long days with him I can like fill it with the water and he can drink it's honestly like teeny it's made for little dogs but it was the best I could find um so I'm packing that I'm kind of going overboard honestly like I don't need to bring that also but like I just am because I'm excited so yeah that's that I thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video my website, mollybrickofficial.com, is in fact a Squarespace website. I've been using Squarespace for a very long time. From the moment I launched my business, I launched it on Squarespace because they just make it so easy. They have templates, which is what I use to build my website, but you can take their templates that they already have and then customize them even further. So that way when people come to your website, they wouldn't even know it was built off of a template. It's not gonna look like anybody else's site. You can fully customize it and make it your own once you select that template that feels right for you and for your business. I really recommend it. I also recommend doing things like adding alt text, which they offer as a feature. This allows it to be more accessible to screen reader users like myself. If you would like to try a free trial, you can go to squarespace.com. And if you would like to get 10% off, which who doesn't want 10% off, you can go to squarespace.com slash Molly Burke for your purchase of a website or domain name. I think that's it for this video. If I think of anything else that I'm bringing that seems important, I will let you guys know. But until next time, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me on this fun little corner of the internet. Please send all the good vibes. I know I'm packing so ahead of time and like getting over, over excited. But um, yeah, this is just, this is really big. This is a huge moment. I mean, I haven't gone to guide dog training in over seven years. So until I see you again in my next video, you can click over here to see the retirement party I threw for my guide dog. Or you can click over here to watch another one of my videos. Bye guys. Have a good day.